What's good YouTube, Ben here, welcome to the next video on the channel. In this one, I'm going to give you episode 6, the Pokemon Coliseum playthrough in the last episode. We started going through pirate building. In this one, let's cast some shadow Pokemon. Let's get into this. Quickly before we get into the video guys, don't forget you can also like, comment and subscribe to show support to the channel. Don't forget you can also join my other socials down below like Discord and TikTok. And don't forget when I go live on YouTube, I also go live at the same time on Twitch. So if you want to watch me whilst I'm live but don't watch streams on YouTube, you can always check me out on Twitch. Let's get back in. Alright, so we left off here. I've just been healed between episodes. Um, so let's jump up to the top floor. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Darling, aren't you one of Duking's people? What made you think you could simply waltz in here? Such a silly boy. Girl, where's Mirror B? I'm taking him down. Take him down after the beating you took? That's too funny. Ha <laughs> ha. You wait. I'm going to drive all of you out of this town. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, such a feisty boy. Don't tell me we have to take your Pokemon hostage to make you settle down like we did with Duking. But what? Uh, we seem to be getting a lot of unexpected company today. But well, that's no excuse for being a bad host. Okie dokie. Mirror BP on a wreath. Alright, what you got? Remoraid and Spinarak. So as you guys can see, Remoraid is level 20. And I warned about this last episode that this Shadow Pokemon is a lot lower level. Meaning you can barely attack it because if you do, you most likely will Wombo Combo it. <laughs> Which isn't great to be honest. But I have a plan. At this point, it's a fairly terrible plan, but I have a plan nonetheless. So, we'll get rid of the spinner rack first, because the spinner rack needs to go. Adios, spinner rack. Alright, that's gone. What's next? Love disc. Alright, love disc isn't that much of a threat, to be honest. I half expected to miss, not gonna lie. Hypnosis is like 70 accuracy. But we got it, so I'm okay with it. Right, what we're going to do is we're going to use Noctal's turn to try and catch the thing. Now, a huh, little bit awkward because it's at full HP, but it is asleep. Now, statuses do help with catch rates. They really do. So with any up, we can catch it without actually attacking it. No, got a two roll. Okay. Okay, that's going to be a two shot. That's nice. I don't even think with agility you're outspeeding my Espeon. I wouldn't have thought so. Regardless, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Shadow Rush the Remoraid. It shouldn't take it out. Uh, no, what am I doing? Um, and then we're going to take out the Love Disc. Oh, it does outspeed. Damn. I mean, it doesn't do that much, thankfully, because it hit Noctowl, but... Okie dokie. Goodbye, Love Disc. You will not be missed very much. Oh, nice. We entered Hyper Mode. Decent. Alright, so we'll call Noctowl, and then we'll try and catch it again. I mean, I doubt it'll catch, but there's a chance it will, and if it does, then that's great. One, two, three, got it. There we go. Like, statuses are insanely good. How did this happen? Unbelievable. A Pokemon couldn't muster a thing. You're no ordinary trainer. Were you hired by duking as his bodyguards? Let me warn you, if you mess with this, you'd better be prepared for the consequences. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. Mantine and Apom. Right, well. Mantine is the shadow here. 
and what a shadow. This one is hard to catch. One, because it's level 33, and two, because it naturally has a terrible catch rate, but if we toxic it, not only can we work on it, there are the Pokemon anyway, but we can also let it take damage over time, and it'll be status, so. It's a great way to go ahead and just start rinsing its health. Right, Apom's going to start out speeding. Ooh, Bubbly Beam. Ugh, that hurt. Ooh. Uh, okay, we'll get these out of here. Get Apom out. Ooh, Astonish. <coughs> I mean, it didn't do that much, to be honest. But it does have a chance to flinch. Fortunately, it didn't. Nice, good hit. I don't think the Shadow Rush will take it out, but oh, that's if it survives. I did. Nice. Oh, as if. Seriously, you lingered on 1 HP? Dodge. <laughs> so sad. Oh, man. Alright, well... Get out of here, Apom. I think that's the first time in this playthrough so far. We've been, we've been what's called fake sturdied. So sturdy is an ability that allows Pokemon to live at one HP uh, after taking massive damage. But <laughs> fake sturdy is where a Pokemon doesn't get it, but they still somehow survived on one HP. Right, goodbye, Noctowl. Sorry, my friend. Feels so bad, man. Uh. I could bring out Croconor in this situation. Croconor wouldn't be a bad shout. Because with Croconor, Croconor can use Surf and lightly hit the Mantine whilst doing decent damage to the Furret and then we can confuse the Furret. The Surf won't do much to Mantine because it's a shared typing. Ooh, that Furret's going to live. Ouch. Furret is decently defensive, actually. I mean, it's boosting its defense stat like it's going to do anything. It's not, but... Fortunately, physical defense isn't what we're targeting, so we're fine. Man, that Mantide hits hard. Yeah, it does nothing to the Mantine. Didn't actually do that much to the fur, if I'm being honest. Right, but that Mantide's in yellow now. So I'm going to go for a catch in the hopes we're going to get it. And then we have to take out the Ferret. I mean, odds are this won't catch even with the status because Mantine, like I said, is an absolute nightmare. Two. Oh, we did catch it. Nice. And Yanma. Yanma's not really that defensive either, to be honest. Bye bye for it. Alright, so now it's just the Yanma which we have to double team. I mean, I'm okay with that. I mean, two attacks should be enough. Depending on how hard this hits. Uh, it might be. Possibly. Oh, uh, that's bye bye Espeon. Alright, no, 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 never mind. I thought I had lower HP than that. So, Sonic Boom attacks for a guaranteed 20 hit, but that's it. It won't hit any higher than that. Probably gonna outspeed now, though. Either way, it doesn't matter. Only one of these attacks has to hit. I mean, why target my Espeon? That's just rude. Still, Mischievous can eat the XP, so it's alright. Om nom 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 nom. Nah. You couldn't crit last turn, Croconaw. <laughs> like, it'd have saved me a little bit at a time, and it would have saved my Espeon, but okay. 
Mer uh, Mirror Peak Farmer defeats it. What just happened? Unbelievable 2. Alright, well, we caught both shadows, which is great. So we're actually on point. We've caught every shadow so far. Wreath, let's make ourselves scarce for the time being. Right, right, oh, Farmer. Ultra Super Fire Dash. Bye bye. Alright, grab the EN file. Hello, Silver. Uh, ow. Thank you, you saved me. Do you people know Duking? Yes. Okay, I'm a fool. I didn't know what was happening at all. They'd taken Duking's Pokemon hostage. How could they do such a downright dirty? That's why we're here. We came to rescue Plusle. I'm going too. Uh, ow. Not in your condition. You have to wait here. Oh, ho, ho. we meet again, kiddies. M Mirror B, you cowardly cheat. Cowardly cheat? That's not true. Taking the hostage is perfectly fine as a bargaining tactic. You call that a tac- oh. You call that a tactic? Plus, it be had better be okay. Oh, the darling couldn't be any safer if it tried. I'm sure it will come to adore me before too much longer. You- you've got to be kidding. Where is it? Give it back. Four. No one really got hiding for me. Come to the cave. That's where I'll be. I'll be waiting for you, my pretties. Ho, 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 ho. All right, well, we've just gotten an invite to go into the cave, which, I mean, sounds very wrong when you put it in that kind of context, but that's okay. We're going to go and heal. That's why we're using the elevator. Plus, there is a few items down here that we want, and we want Pokeballs because we are running a little bit low. We've got three Hyper Potions, though, and Hyper Potions are very good for healing. So, what we're going to do is we're going to quickly run and grab Pokeballs because we need Pokeballs. We are running a little bit low. It's okay, but we are running low, so... Let's go ahead and grab some more Pokeball. Um, I'm also going to check our healing items as well because we can grab those here in Pirate. Because there is a shop here that we can go to. Getting our very weird bike that only has back wheels. I do not know how the thing is balanced, but you know what? Video game logic, so it's okay. All right, Lissabelle, blah, blah, blah. Yep, I want to stock up on some supplies. Thank you. We have 21,000, so we have a decent amount of money right now. Uh, we have two. Let's buy 18 of those. So we have 20. Throw in a Premier Ball. We have six. Let's buy four of those. And that leaves us with about 15,000, which is nice. Uh, I'm also going to go and buy some more potions as well, because healing from now on will be very few and far between. Um... I mean, the cave itself is quite big, but there isn't actually that many trainers in it. It's mostly just how big the cave is. The cave's huge. Alrighty then. So, let's quickly check our healing supplies. Uh, bye. So, we've got three hypers, five supers. Uh, let's buy five more supers. Uh, we'll go to two more hypers. And we've got one revive. Let's buy four of those. That's going to rinse the majority of our money. But now we have healing supplies. We have Pokeballs. So we're looking good. Like, we're looking okay. I mean, the ideal playthrough for this would be we don't white out once, which is where we, you know... Um, all our Pokemon fate at one time. But then it looks like that won't happen. But, <laughs> this is where the st game starts to get a little bit harder. So, the game will start to get a bit harder as we play through. Uh, I need to heal. So, that should be highly amusing. The Pokemon fully restored, so we're looking good on the Pokemon front. We still have Remoraid in the party. I will not be using it. Uh, one, because it's only level 20. Two, because, I mean, Octillery is okay, but it's not really that good. And besides, we, we're going to end up having Feraligator in the end anyway, so I'm more than okay with that too. But let's go back to the top, because we do have another Shadow Pokemon battle coming up. This guy. But I'm going to quickly cut here, because I need to run toilet. So I'll be cutting in. Quick intermission, guys. Did you know that only 13.9% of you subscribe to the channel? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel because it would really help us grow. Thank you.
All right, there we go. I had to quickly nip to the loo. Uh, and then my girlfriend made me some food. So thank you, Emily. I'll publicly thank you for the food. It was cheese toasties. It was very nice. Anyway. So we're leading with Noctowl and Espeon for this fight. Let's go. Hmm. Oh, I get it. You guys weren't new recruits, but just intruders too. Okay, I was too weak for words. How about you? Are you going to keep me amused? Possibly. I also have a cup of tea. There's a cup of tea. Well, correction, I just finished the cup of tea, but... Quillfish and Goldeen. Alright, so Quillfish is the shadow here. Gotta admit, Quillfish not exactly a... Huh. Quillfish is a weird one. So, like, it's a half-decent Pokemon, but I don't need it. Plus, its typing isn't very complimentary at all. I mean, it has all the weaknesses of a Psychic uh, a Poison type, and it only negates one of the water ones, which is grass. It turns it neutral. So, it's not the best thing in the world, if I'm being honest. I mean, I'm hopeful that the, um... That the Hypnosis will land. Oh, it's definitely not gonna land now. Wait, what? It landed? Okay. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Even with a Minimize, it somehow landed? Damn. I'm not going to lie, for a second there, I thought that said Horn Drill, so, uh, well. Alright, Shadow Rush the Goldeen will Confusion the Quillfish. It shouldn't take it out. It, Quillfish is decently tanky. Yeah. But we've taken it all the way into Yellow Hell, so, not bad. Oh, nice, Noctowl is getting up there a bit. Right, let's see. We'll call, and then we'll use Confusion. Nice, Noctowl's on its final bar, meaning I should have unlocked its fourth attack. Which I'm hoping is a Flying-type move, because if not, then... We're going to have virtually no stab on it for the time being, which is annoying. So stab is stat-type attack bonuses. Um, basically, if I'm a Flying-type, and I attack with a Flying-type move... That damage will be slightly boosted because it's a shared typing, shared attack typing, if that makes sense. Um, oh, we still haven't unlocked it. Damn. All right. Cool. Man, Lanoon is going to be a tanky. A tanky boy. Go. One, two, three. Beautiful. Goldfish was caught. Cool. Oh yeah, Lanoon's gonna be tanking. That thing is gonna be tanking. Okay. Alright, providing the Shadowless Rush lands, it'll take it out. Mud Sport. Okay, great. That's great for the... Okay. That's great for the electric type I'm not using. But okay. <laughs> well, I should definitely have its final move now. So I guess we'll find out what it is next battle. Ooh, but by la noon. And unfortunately for you, Lanoon, you do not have a third stage evolution in this generation. In fact, you don't until generation 8, so... I mean, to be fair, Lanoon's a decent Pokemon. It's just not that good. Battling you was fun, so that's good for me. If you want to go through, go right ahead. Well, I will be going right through, thank you very much. Right, there are a few battles I can skip in here, which I will be doing, because... I'm not going to battle everyone in here. There is zero point. And all the forced battles are shadow battles anyway. The ones that aren't forced don't have shadow Pokemon. So, because of that, I'm not going to do pointless battles. There's no point. Um, plus, I'm hopeful the next episode we will be done with this area anyway. So. I'm trying to exactly remember where all the hidden items are in this area. Because there's a few... Oh, this way. 
I know there is some hidden items, I just don't remember what they are. No, this is the right way. Yeah, there we go. Uh, we're gonna have to battle this guy. No, we're not. Never mind. Uh, three ultras, which I will take. That was worth the two-minute detour because ultra balls are expensive. I believe they're twelve hundred Poké dollars each. Plus, we can't actually buy those yet, so you don't get the ability to buy those until after the next two areas, I believe. You don't get it early. I know that much. Like, you do not get the ability to buy those early. Hold on, I don't think you're going anywhere when you can catch my eye. Well, okie dokie. Ryder Twan. Alright, what do you got, Ryder? Meditite and Bagon. So, Meditite is the shadow here. Now, Bagon's going to be a little bit harder to take out. Mostly because of its typing. Dragon is not weak to much. Like, by Generation 3, which is what this game is in, it's only got two weaknesses, which is Dragon and Ice. I'm not running either, so... Oh, we did get Fly. Nice. Okay. Oh, Confusion the Meditype. It is a Psychic type, but it's also part Fighting, meaning it's neutral, Psychic is. Psychic resists, Fighting is weak, so it becomes neutral. That's a little bit scary. God damn, Knocked Owl. Like, my dude, you need to chill out. All this hyper mode going on. Still, that also means that um, its shadow meter is now completely gone. So, when we can purify it, we're able to do so. Now, the beautiful thing with Pokemon is, like, any major grinding I'll be doing will be done off camera. But there won't be any for a while anyway, because I can't purify. So. Oh. Oh, never mind. You went for my knocked out weirdly. Alright. Fair enough. I, I don't see why, but okay. No, 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 no. Fly on the Bagon. Uh, we'll try and catch you. You're poisoned and in yellow health, and you're only a Meditite, so. One, two, three. Meditite was caught. Man, status moves are ridiculously OP in this game. Ha, lol. Confusion. Bleh. Doink. Numel's another weird one as well. Um, it evolves into a fire ground type. Which, don't get me wrong, Camerupt is a decent Pokemon, but it's not what I'd call great. <laughs> oh, you're using Dig. Alright, well, that's not going to do much to. I mean, I might as well just go ahead and use this because I'm not going to be able to take out the Numel this turn. Because both of my mons are going to outspeed it, so. Yep. Shadow Rush will miss because there's no target, because it's underground. Alright, goodbye, Numal. Adios. All right, Rider Twan defeated. Girl, my Pokemon was shut down. Well, maybe use better Pokemon. <laughs> my Pokemon have won a knockout challenge. Should our average trainer for beating them? No, I'm not, funnily enough. But we'll continue with this place in the next episode. Um, so between episodes, I will heal. 
if you want to see more like this, don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, please, because you guys have been smashing it recently. Don't forget to turn on notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams, because I do upload daily in our live stream most days. When I go live, I go live on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time. So if you want to support me whilst I'm live, but don't watch streams on YouTube, you can always check me out on Twitch. Don't forget you can also join my other socials down below like Discord and TikTok. And don't forget you can also support the channel further by becoming a channel member. Promise that there's 97 pence per month here in the UK or about $1.30 in America. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.